Now here, as you can see, it's a little more bare. We got the birds coming in and taking whatever they want. <clears throat> so we're going to be hammering this plastic down because I'm going to be gone for at least a week. So I don't want it to look more bare than it is already. So let's set it up. So this side, I believe it's going to be green enough and grown enough that they won't scratch. So I'm going to leave all this exposed. And from here on, we're going to keep everything covered, but it's going to be raining. So you want to make holes in here because uh, you want the rain to go through. So the best thing to do is use a razor, sharp, clean razor. want all the areas to get wet so So let's see how the birds react to this. Got my water filled up from the rain. Only got one tub to go on my on my water, so I have close to a thousand gallons. So I came, I just got here today, so I've been gone almost a week. So I took the plastic off because I'll probably end up putting it back tomorrow morning, but really a lot better than I did. So everything's looking really good. There was two little holes there that was like maybe a squirrel dug in, but it looks like the the plants are growing to looks like the plant grew um, enough so the birds could uh, or the, so the birds wouldn't make anything worse than it already is. So all these. This side's looking really good. Now, there's a lot more green than there was the last video. I am going to put the plastic back. I'm going to cut it the way I probably should have, but I was in a rush. So, I will be covering this side again probably for another five days or so. So, everything's looking really good. Next step is to get some wood chips and allow the cover crop to grow you could even see all the green super green and then you come here and it's like super dull 
but the green is coming and it's looking wonderful.